Selling in markets is how many people here earn a living, and a lot of these products come from China. Zimbabwe's once thriving industrial sector isn't creating enough jobs and goods for the domestic market. I like this relationship between China and Zimbabwe. They, they keep us going. At least we've got something to do than to just sit and not selling anything. President Emerson Mnangagwa is in China, his first state visit outside Africa since he took over from Robert Mugabe in November. He signed several trade agreements with President Xi Jinping, including deals in agriculture, transport and mining. Economists say it's a positive move, but warns Zimbabwe has sometimes failed to pay back loans it's received from China. We lack the credibility as borrowers to make commitments to make repayments. And we lack that credibility because we've lost so much of our own productive capacity. Beijing recently financed the expansion of the Kariba South Power Station, which cost more than $500 million. Officials say this will add another 300 megawatts to the national grid. Zimbabwe's government says it's broke. It needs direct foreign investment to improve infrastructure. China spent more than $200 million building this shopping mall in Harare. It's also built a military academy. But there's competition from other foreign powers. Russia is building a platinum plant just outside the capital with an estimated $4 billion. The Chinese are mining platinum, diamonds and chrome in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe exports most of its tobacco to China. China appears keen to cement its decades-long relationship with Zimbabwe and keep ahead of competition from other countries. Struggling Zimbabweans hope the seemingly close ties will mean economic growth and jobs. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.